Good morning. I'm Joe, and today is Monday, November 16th. Today for lunch we are having breaded chicken parm pasta, steamed green beans, baby carrots, apples, and diced pears. Attention seniors, online applications for the first round of the Pennsylvania Highlands Board of Academic Scholarship are due no later than November 30th. Please see Mrs. Spangler for more information. After school tutoring will be held on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in the library. All students are welcome to come and get assistance for any class needed. Students must have a parental note indicating how they will be transported home at 3.30. Virtual students are welcome to come in for these small group help sessions as well. That's all for now. Have a great day. Good morning. Natalie here with your daily weather report. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 30. It will feel much more like mid-November as most will see highs in the upper 40s to low 50s for the week. Temperatures will take a slight dip to below normal by Tuesday and Wednesday. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great Monday. Donald Trump fired Defense Secretary Mark Esper in a surprise move after the election. However, the President wished him well and will be appointing a new Defense Secretary soon. Whoever he chooses will be the fifth person to hold the position in the last four years. Vincent Edward Bo Jackson, born November 30, 1962, in Bessemer, Alabama, is a former professional baseball and football player. He's the only professional athlete in history to be named All-Star in both baseball and football. Jackson played college football as a running back for the Auburn Tigers and won the Heisman Trophy in 1985. He played baseball for the Kansas City Royals, the defending World Series champions, who drafted him in the fourth round, 105th overall in the 1986 amateur draft. In the 1987 NFL Draft, Jackson found out that he was selected in the seventh round of the draft by the Los Angeles Raiders. A five-year, $7.4 million contract was negotiated where Jackson would be permitted to play the entire baseball season with the Royals and report to the Raiders once the MLB season was finished, even if it meant missing NFL games. In addition to this, Jackson had the highest salary of any non-quarterback in NFL history, and Jackson would be receiving a reported $500,000 signing bonus, plus another $500,000 if he returned to the following year in 1988. In his eight baseball seasons, Jackson had a career batting average of .25, hit 141 home runs, and had 415 RBIs. In his football career, he only had 2,782 rush yards and 16 touchdowns. Unfortunately, he suffered a career-ending hip, hip injury in 1991 in a playoff game against the Bengals. Jackson is still considered one of the greatest athletes of all time. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.